Sheriff Mark Lamb. Uh, I sound like a broken record because I'm real concerned about the election in November. So if I sound like a broken record, I guarantee it for good reason. Uh, people are asking me, Val, as you can imagine, from all over, what's going on in Arizona? How's the election look? And also, how's the border look? Not the garbage that we see in the media. You know, there is some truth telling in the media right out there, but but not from the alphabets. Uh, and definitely, I'm, as you know, banned in Canada. Canada can, Canadians aren't grown up enough to see the news going on down here, the, the real news, the boots on the ground news, the skates on the ice news. So Sheriff Lamb, uh, I, I uh, had texted him probably maybe an hour before the show. He reaches out to everybody. He would have dropped in. He would have parachuted in today, tonight, uh, Val, to say hi to everybody. Uh, he loves our military, uh, active and veterans. He loves our law enforcement, active and veterans. Uh, anyone who's ever met Sheriff Mark Lamb or has worked with him, he's got people coming from out of state to work for him, Val. Uh, what you see is what you get. I'm really concerned that he gets elected. Uh, he's run, running against Kerry Lake down here. Uh, I've always said, I've always said, uh, any good Republicans going to say whether uh, Mark Lamb or, or uh, Kerry Lake wins, we're going to support them 100% to the, in the U.S. Senate. We need to have that 51st vote, taking the Senate back is uh, really critical. So a lot of Arizona is stirring kind of politics that way, that way Val, and don't you know, uh, goodness, you've done some deep, deep, deep dive research into actually both those campaigns and other campaigns, because that's what you do. So I would just say everybody down here, a huge important date in Arizona is June 30th. That is the official Republican primary, uh, and it's basically going to be Carrie Lake versus Mark Lamb. Uh, Mark Lamb, just as a side note, and kind of Greg Meek and Insider Scoop, he's kind of been ignored by the national media. He's kind of been under, shall we say, uh, underestimated, ignored, whatever. He does not have what, what the East Coast elites would probably say is whatever creds. Yeah, he's just a great guy who, who, who saves lives down here in Arizona. But uh, anyhow, so he's been kind of ignored back East. A very ob obviously popular guy down here, but I really mean this, I'm saying. Um, anyone in Arizona and anyone out there for all these other major uh, elections, James, you guys got a lot coming up in West Virginia. Um, anyhow, so I do really recommend everyone get to the, to the polls this year. And I mean everywhere because you must win in this era. You must win by overwhelming numbers that okay? you must because there's still going to be garbage and nonsense and shen shenanigans behind the scenes. We're not as good. We're not as good uh, as, quote, Republicans or folks who, vote, who will be voting for Trump. I'm saying it's about an 80 million head start, 80 million vote head start where people I really believe would vote today for him. Uh, don't let the media tell you differently. So uh, Sheriff Lamb for Senate.com, seriously, Sheriff Lamb for Senate.com, if anyone wants to pitch in at all. Uh, he's also, he and his wife, Janelle, have got great books out there, there. So I really wanted to catch up on that. And my prediction is Lamb's going to win. Write it down. I'd go to Vegas with it, but that's just me. And I've been saying it for, you know, this about two years. Anyhow, uh, when he when he announced. The other big issue is the border. I'm not going to go into it real in-depth, but it's a grease fire. It's a tragedy. Uh, I, Sheriff Lamb, when I was on MAGA Matters, it said, please make everybody aware. Please make everybody aware. Of the 37,000 Chinese nationals, uh, may, you know, male age, uh, fighting age, yeah, whatever, military age, uh, in uh, 2023. And that is on track for, to be doubled in 2024. And I'm talking Chinese nationals. Uh, and uh, so they've hit, they hit like 20,000 in, in just January and February uh, of this year. So there's my Arizona app update. Uh, Val, it was a little bit wor ver uh, a little bit wordy, but you might have anything you want to add on the Arizona. Uh, and I would just want to tell you, Arizona is really watching stuff, watching stuff from in the country and not only in Arizona, but they're watching people like you and me right now, Val. A number two city on my YouTube channel right now jumped to Phoenix, Arizona. How about that? Uh, number one yeah. is still ca still Calgary. I still can't believe Calgary. Anyhow, back to you on that. Quick, I blabbered a little bit, but there's your Arizona 